Section 22 of The Haunted Hour, an anthology by Margaret Whittemer. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nemo. Legends and Ballads of the Dead, Part 1. The Folk of the Air by William Butler Yeats. O Driscoll drove with a song, the wild duck and the drake, from the tall and the tufted weeds of the drear heart lake. And he saw how the weeds grew dark at the coming of night tide, and he dreamed of the long dark hair of Bridget his bride. He heard while he sang and dreamed a piper passing away, and never was piping so sad and never was piping so gay and he saw young men and young girls who danced on a level place and bridget his bride among them with a sad and a gay face the dancers crowded about him and many a sweet thing said and a young man brought him red wine and a young girl white bread but bridget drew him by the sleeve away from the merry bands to old men playing at cards with a twinkling of ancient hands the bread and the wine had a doom for these were the folk of the air he sat and played in a dream of her long dim hair he played with the merry old men and thought not of evil chance until one bore bridget his bride away from the merry dance he bore her away in his arms the handsomest young man there and his neck and his breast and his arms were drowned in her long dim hair o driscoll got up from the grass and scattered the cards with a cry but the old men and the dancers were gone as a cloud faded into the sky he knew now the folk of the air and his heart was blackened by dread and he ran to the door of his house old women were keening the dead and he heard high up in the air a piper piping away and never was piping so sad and never was piping so gay the reconciliation by a margaret ramsay the snow has ceased the wind is hushed the moon shines fair and clear the night is drawing on apace yet evan is not here the deer is couched among the fern the bird sleeps on the tree oh what can keep my only son he bides so long for me oh mother come and take your rest since evan stays so late if we leave the door unbarred for him what need to sit and wait now hold your peace my daughter be still and let me be i will not seek my bed this night until my son i see and she has left the door unbarred and by the fire sat still she drew her mantle her about as the winter night grew chill the moon had set beyond the moor and half the night had gone when standing silent by her side she saw evan her son i did not hear your step evan nor hear you lift the pin i would not wake my sister mother so softly i came in now sit ye down and rest evan and i will give you meat i have been with my cousin john mother and he gave me to eat then have ye laid the quarrel by that was twixt him and you and given each other pledge of faith ye will be friends anew we have laid the quarrel by mother forevermore to sleep and he has given me his knife as pledge of faith to keep oh is it blood or is it rust that makes the knife so red or is it but the red firelight that's shining on the blade no rust is on the blade mother nor the firelight's ruddy hue the bright blood ran upon the knife to seal our compact true oh is it with a pale gray gleam that comes before the dawn or are you weary with the road that ye look so ghastly wan a long and weary road mother 
I fared to reach my home, and I must get me to my bed that waits for me to come. The night is bitter cold, Evan. See that your bed be warm, and take your plaid to cover you, lest the cold should do you harm. Yes, cold, cold is the night, mother, yet soundly do I rest, with the bleak north wind to cover me, and the snow white on my breast. The Priest's Brother by Dora Sigerson Shorter Thrice in the night the priest arose, from broken sleep to kneel and pray, hush, poor ghost, till the red cock crows, and I a mass for your soul may say. Thrice he went to the chamber cold, where, stiff and still uncoffined, his brother lay, his beads he told, and, rest, poor spirit, rest, he said. Thrice lay the old priest down to sleep, before the morning bell should toll, but still he heard and woke to weep the crying of his brother's soul all through the dark till dawn was pale the priest tossed in his misery with muffled ears to hide the wail the voice of that ghost's agony at last the red cock flaps his wings to trumpet of a day new-born the lark awaking soaring sings into the bosom of the morn the priest before the altar stands he hears the spirit call for peace he beats his breast with shaking hands o oh, father grant the soul's release most just and merciful set free from purgatory's awful night the sinner's soul to fly to thee and rest forever in thy sight the mass is over still the clerk kneels pallid in the morning glow he said from evils of the dark oh bless me father ere you go benediction that i may rest for all night did the banshee weep the priest raised up his hands and blessed go now my child and you will sleep the priest went down the vestry stair he laid his vestments in their place and turned a pale ghost met him there with beads of pain upon his face brother he said you have gained me peace but why so long did you know my tears and say no mass for my soul's release to save the torture of those years god rest you brother the good priest said no years have passed but a single night he showed the body uncoffined and the six wax candles still light the living flowers on the dead man's breast blew out a perfume sweet and strong the spirit paused ere he passed to rest god save your soul from a night so long end of section twenty two